Welcome back to another how-to video by Trend Micro. My name is Michael Clifford. I'm a support engineer here at Trend Micro. And today we're going to go through another method of agent migration. If you haven't seen it yet, we have a short series on the methods of agent migration, which lists the pros and cons of each agent migration method. Today we're going to be talking about the IPX for utility. So I've already written a very small batch file. Uh, as stated, it's very lightweight and easy command to run. A little bit of downside here, but <laughs> you may be able to alleviate that or obfuscate that by other scripting means. So I've placed this batch uh, script inside of the OFC scan share on the Apex One directory. So just browsing here, and there's multiple ways you can do this. You can copy the IPX for tool as well as the cert off, and then put x64 and x86 uh, checks in your script so it knows which ones to run. Nonetheless, all my stuff is x64, so I've just written this up, and I can run this on pretty much any agent that can reach the ad, or the OFC scan share. So right now, we're just going to go ahead and run this as administrator. Yeah, of course. And there we go. So after a couple of minutes, maybe a little bit less, the services will start stopping, and the agent will start kicking over toward the new server. So as you can see on my console, client 02 is on my XG server, and we're going to be moving it over to the Apex 1 server, where client 05 was transitioned previously. And you can see the listener stopping. And once the listener stops, it'll go offline on the Office Scan XG. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while this go, uh, runs through. It takes, uh, like I said, just a couple of minutes, maybe up to five minutes usually. It depends on the resources of the workstation you're on. And then we'll, uh, we'll come on back when it's uh, transitioning. All right. Just want to show everybody what it looks like when the services are stopping. So on the XG console, you could see it went offline. And we're just waiting for the real time to stop and then it'll continue its transference over. And we're back. So the real time service just stopped a few seconds ago and it's already kicked back on. So we should be able to see the new setting within the component versions here on the agent. And it'll have the new server, and as it checks in and gets all of the new settings, it'll uh, transition over the file web reputation service to what the new server has, as well as web reputation service. So that's really it. We could check the console here, and uh, as long as it's checked in, we should have it available on the Apex One console. And here we go. I just refreshed it, showing us offline for the moment. Oh, it was showing off <laughs> offline for a moment. But it's already uh, kicked itself back online, and uh, it'll be retrieving its new OOC scan INI settings. And you can see on the old console, it's already gone. So it left before it even reached the Apex One console. So that's really it. Uh, the agent will finish its migration, getting its new OOC scan INI and its settings and uh, new policy if you have it filtered out uh, once it resynchronizes the directories. But that's all there is to the IPX for utility. If you've cho chosen this as your agent migration utility, you can use this in a GPO uh, for startup first time run and just do a one time run on startup to transfer the agent over so you don't have to worry about those agents that, that go offline and don't come online during normal hours. So we'll continue doing the different methods of agent migration and uh, check out those videos if you want to see what those moves are like. Until then, have a good one. Bye.